Productions, TJ Hill. Thank you so much, Gala. You're welcome, TJ. One more hand for a little Higby over there, huh? <laughs> Gala, thanks for the wonderful introduction. That was nice. Gala, you missed one thing on my, uh, I, I have to say, she missed one thing on my resume. What was that? I'm really proud to say that just this past uh, October, I signed a deal with HBO. Huh? Huh? You didn't tell me that. Yeah, it's only $21.95 a month, and I get Showtime, I get Cinema, <laughs> I get ESPN, I get them all. Now you know I'm lying, I know. So. Thanks so much for the wonderful introduction. How's everybody feeling out there? Huh? Huh? Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Benjamin Van TJ Hill. I am a magician. That means I'm a chick. I don't know if that's proper verb or not, but that's going to be our verb for this evening. But uh, we've been sitting way too long. Can I have everyone in the room? Everyone! Stand up on your feet, get the blood flowing right where you're at. Can everyone just stand up right where you're at? Even in the front. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Stretch out just a hair. Guys, I'd like to try a little experiment with everyone in the room. Please, everyone face me up here on the stage. Everyone right up here, all eyes. I need complete concentration, complete cooperation. Everyone in the room, think of a number between 1 and 10. Don't tell your neighbor, just think about it in your mind. Does everyone have a number? 1 through 5, if you're thinking of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hold your hands about this far apart like this. Face me and smile a little bit. That's good. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hold your hands like a brain like this. Face me, smile real good. That's good, don't move. Perfect. <laughs> Good, I promised my family I was going to have a standing ovation at the end of the show. Now they know Get back to your seats and we'll continue with this magical extravaganza. I got someone in the front row like, wait, I don't get it. Hold on. She's like, wait a minute, what's that? Ladies and gentlemen, I, I've already told you I'm a magician. I do lots of magic tricks, sleight of hand stuff. But to warm up my fingers and warm up my hands, I always like to start out by... I'm going to fill in the blind for me. You guys know what this is called? Juggling. Anyone know what this is called when I do this? Nah, this is called Gears of Loneliness and Self-Denial. That's what that's called. That's called Behind the Back. This is called, whoa, I got a cheer in the back. That's good. Check it out. This is called Columns, like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is called Fake Columns, like this. Not as impressive. I know. <laughs> really? <laughs> no need to patronize, all right? <laughs> we stay with that. We're wrong. Uh, oh, and people always say, TJ, they, there you go. They say, can you throw four balls in the air at the same time? I say yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to do this until you move. <laughs> that was oddly rehearsed, but good. <laughs> people always say, TJ, can you throw five balls in the air at the same time? And I say yes. Ladies and gentlemen, five balls in the air. She's like, wait, I don't get it, Still. Don't worry, the kids don't get it, and if they do, it's not my fault, it's yours, all right? Moving on, you guys ready to see some amazing magic? A lot if you like, huh? All right, excellent. I need someone to help me out. I'm up here, ready to come with me? Sierra, can you make your way to the stage? As long as everyone gives you a tremendous round of applause as you do that. Please. Hurry, 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 Sarah. We don't have too much time. Sarah, I have a super, super cool trick I want to show you. It's right here. Just use the little ball. Thanks for helping out. How are you? Sarah, you can stay right over here to the right of the stage. Shoulder square, face front. Can you see everyone out there? The light's kind of in your eyes, I know. That's okay. Just a little ball like this. Sarah, are you right or left hand? Because I don't have an extra. We're going to have to use your finger. Just hold your finger like this. Oh. Thing watch, just wiggle. See you start to move? That's not the trick yet, settle down. Well watch, go ahead, wiggle your finger again. I go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. My finger will melt straight through it to get not one, but two. Sierra, I put one on the left, one on the right. I use my magic breath. Sierra, magic breath. That was magic spit, that was gross. <laughs> It works anyway, that's okay. This one here turns invisible. Sierra, you're not gonna believe it. It does one, two, three, four backflips right here. 
I'll do it again, even though you didn't ask. Are you ready? One on the right, one on the left. Did you catch me? No way. Did you guys catch me? You gotta be quick with me. Check it out. They traded places. Yeah! <laughs> That's not the trick. A couple more drinks, and I'm gonna be a good trick. I know. See, so here, hold your hand out like this. I'll take one, you take one. Please type them your hand straight like me. I'll go first. You go next. Check it out, watch. Ready? Watch mine. It's kind of cool. I'm going to go one, two steps closer, and you're going to feel something funny happen. It's not going to hurt. It's just going to tickle right in your hand. Tell me when you feel it. You feel it? Watch this. Look, don't let go. Don't let go. Don't just squeeze. Watch. Mine's gone. It's not up my sleeve. That's why I keep the sleeves rolling up. Did you feel it? Open your hand. Take a look. Check it out. Show everyone. Yeah! Touch your hand, I'll do one more time. Check it out. This one here, just go ahead and blow it once. Check it out, check it out. Here it goes. Tell me what you feel. Feel it? Open your hand, take a look. Yes! <laughs> so look, we're going to do a little test here. We're going to count one, two, three. We just do a test of observation. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, check it out. I just put one in the pocket, one in the hand, one in the pocket. How many in the pocket? How many in the hand? I'll start over. We'll do it one more time. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> This trip takes a lot of ball. Right, one in the pocket, one in the hand. No point. It's too many ball jokes, I know. That's two in the pocket, one in the hand, right? I'll start over, we'll do it again. Here, hold on one sec, hold on. That's one in the pocket, that's one in the hand, it's one in the pocket. Now I'm confused. How many in the pocket? Two. How many in the hand? One. You want me to start over, I'll do it again? Yeah. We don't have enough time, the trick's over. Let's just end it there. Well, tricks from, and I'll be honest with you, uh, it's, it used to be, I used to always have to uh, read a book, a video, a DVD, anything that would be a tutorial, okay, I'd have to look at illustrations. Now it's so easy to learn magic, simple. I'll show you what I mean, like uh, right here in the front row, your name's Scott? Scott, what's up Scott, you don't even have to come up here, I'll just shake it with you. Scott, there we go. Scott, you have some nice shoes on. I always like to borrow something with some shock value to bring up here. Would you mind, Scott, if I borrowed one of your shoes on stage for an amazing illusion? Can you give him some encouragement, please? Yes. Scott! You can tell a lot about a person by their shoe. No, you can tell a lot. The wear, the pot, the tread pattern, and the shower frequency, Scott. Yeah. Scott, we're going to try something kind of cool. I'm going to show you how easy it is to learn a magic trick. Uh, you guys all want to learn magic trick together? Yeah, we'll do it. We were going to do it anyway. That's okay. But here, let me just show you, Scott. Uh, we'll start out. I'm just going to ask Siri to do it. Siri, tell me a joke. Why is an iPhone better than a magician? Not funny. Why? Because an iPhone has a lot more gigs. Not funny. Tell me a practical joke. Searching the web for natural soap. Not natural soap. Practical joke. Searching the web for soap on a rope. Practical joke, like a comedian. Searching the web for Canadian jokes. <laughs> Just tell me something I can do with a shoe, please. Why didn't you say that in the first place? Searching the web for practical jokes. Okay, I found four results matching your request. For the banana in the tailpipe gag presser, say one. For the hand in the warm water gag presser, say P. For the big dog poo or dirty diaper gag presser, say number two. For the drink in the shoe gag presser, say four. You have chosen the comedy drink in the shoe gag, a guaranteed laugh riot. <laughs> to begin, you will first need to borrow a shoe from an unsuspecting sucker. <laughs> have you volunteered? She said volunteer. Have you done this? Yes. Good. You will also need a small drinking glass. Your volunteer should have no knowledge of the glass as this is the secret to the gag. 
take the glass and hide it in your right hand. This is called palming. Oh. Be sure to keep your hand in a natural position. Now, when your volunteer is not looking, you must sneak the glass into the shoe. This is called sneaking the glass into the shoe. <laughs> to facilitate this, cause a slight distraction. Yeah. Look over there! Practice the secret move over and over until you can do it without detection. Pick up the shoe in your left hand. I said left hand. That's why they call me a smartphone. Pick up a beverage of your choosing. Tell your volunteer that you are going to show him an amazing magic trick. Scott, I'm going to show you an amazing magic trick. Now pour the drink into the shoe. Finish pouring and say, Tada. Tada. Now check the expression on your volunteer's face. Does he look angry? A little bit. Then you've done it right. Let this moment of hilarious comedy sink in. Ha <laughs> ha! God! What your volunteer doesn't realize is that you didn't really pour the drink in the shoe at all. You really poured it into the glass you secretly left in the shoe earlier. <laughs> Remember Palmin? <coughs> Maybe you should reconsider your career choice. <laughs> Would you like me to search the web for job openings? No! Move on! Now it's time to let him off the hook. Make a magical gesture. Pull the full glass of liquid from the shoe and toast your volunteer for being such a good sport. There's no way this is going to work. <laughs> no way! You're not going to believe it! Check it out, Scott! Look at this, huh? Give him a big round of applause for helping out for his comparison. There you go. You guys can't get it all wrong, can you? A little bit wet. Tastes like Tide. Gross. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the magic. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. We're having a hospitality suite. Everyone is welcome. Free booze. We got pop stickers and we got some Whoa, what the free. This is like I'm dying now. That's awesome. Woo! If you guys get a chance to check out the booth tomorrow, I'd love to perform some awesome. close up sleight of hand magic for you guys and blow your minds. I'd love to come out to the fair. I'm with Ugar Production. That's David Ugar sitting right down front. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Our room 3338 tonight. That's where we'll be.